They're among Australia's most unique, vulnerable animals, and dugongs are totally reliant on the tropical north coast's seagrass beds for their food. All the animals too and that live in the ocean are important for our cultural side, like dugong and turtles. Number 994. Indigenous rangers and scientists have long known the Gulf of Carpentaria is a biodiversity hotspot. There's a lot of marine turtles that rely on the habitats of the Lemon Bight region. It's also the most important habitat for dugongs in the Northern Territory. But until now, it wasn't known that the size and diversity of the seagrass beds in the Lemon area of the Gulf make it particularly important. Finding that out has taken months of surveying 3,000 seagrass sites. We've mapped really large seagrass meadows and they were way more diverse than we expected. We had over eight, well, eight species in total. Some of the area is already protected from mining and fishing by NT and federal marine parks. But the scientists hope their research will show governments where protections aren't wide or strong enough particularly because it's been found the dugongs can't move elsewhere to find food. So it really highlights the local conservation that's needed for this area. Scientists are worried no amount of research or local protection will stop the damage already being done to seagrass beds by climate change impacts, including a warming, rising sea. The temperatures are going to get really high and that will happen gradually, but it'll hit a point, like a tipping point, where things will start dying. The scientists are hoping governments will see the changes here as a warning sign from the sea that greenhouse gas emissions need to be reduced. The bigger picture is that we need to have greater commitment from leadership across, you know, global governments. It's a canary in the coal mine Australia would be very sad to lose. Jane Barden, ABC News.